Yeah, I'm okay. Good morning, Mary. See you brought a friend. Oh, look, there's two seats over there for my little seat. Are you okay, Joey? Do you want to switch seats with someone else? No, this seat's fine, Mary. It's not the seat. It's the classroom. I don't want to act like I've recovered, have I? I'm sure if you had recovered, Miss, the teacher wouldn't have let you come back. I suppose not. Portrait of a frightened boy, Mr. Johnny Smith. Fourteen, son, friend, and boy scout on sick leave. Johnny S. has just been discharged from counseling, where he spent the last two weeks of his life recovering from a nervous shakeup, the onset of which occurred on a day not dissimilar from this one in a classroom very much like the one that Johnny S. is about to have Sunday school in. The difference being that on that day, half a month ago, Johnny S.'s class was terminated by the onset of his mental shakeup. This day, Johnny S. is traveling all the way to his appointed destination, which, contrary to Johnny's plan, happens to be the darkest corner of the Twilight Zone. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone.
Write it down. Write it down. Soon you won't have fingers to write with. Oh. 